Obtaining an understanding of the diverse cultures in San Antonio requires nothing more than to take a tour of varied street art and murals throughout the city. A common feature in San Antonio street art is the heritage and background of its people. This is displayed through many works of art found throughout San Antonio. The heritage, like, like straight up, uh, and that's why I'm trying to paint locals and like, when I started my little venture out here, like I was painting pop stuff, like I had painted Cardi B, right, and then a lot of people that are locals that live here for their whole life were like, fuck that, like, who is she, she doesn't mean anything to us, and blah blah blah, she's not even from San Antonio, I was just painting to learn and practice, right? Because I wanted to get my skills up to where I could paint someone like Selena or a local legend here, like Hispanic Elvis, per se, like, right? If I start, if I was to paint him, like, when I first started, in my eyes, it would have looked pretty crappy. Like, it wouldn't look that good. The quality of the work, you know? Yeah. So, like, back to your question, like, I know a lot of murals out here are all about, like, the heritage and what we come from out here and, and just the history of San Antonio. Everyone wants a mural of the Alamo somewhere, or yeah. like, you know what I'm saying? San Antonio street art allows an artist to show who they are, where they came from, and what it means to be a San Antonian. San Antonio culture is unique. Outsiders and visitors may not understand it, but street art allows them to see a glimpse of what it's like to be a San Antonian. There's so many projects that I've been wanting to do about, you know, growing up on the South Side, and I'm sure people do this everywhere it's not just a south side thing i'm sure it's a san antonio thing but you know like playing playing in the front yard with a water hose or like the ice cream truck thing and roaming around the neighborhoods like i feel like that's not just a south side thing that that's something that all kids do when they're growing up especially in san antonio i know when i was growing up that's all i did i was always outside i was always i don't know causing trouble or whatever but even from that aspect of my childhood to like the Mexican culture and the Hispanic culture and the way the way we celebrate things here in San Antonio is so different from other places, which is why I really love living here. It's so festive and there's a, a huge sense of family. There's a, a huge sense of pride when people say that they're from San Antonio. And I think that can definitely be portrayed through mural work and the people that come from outside of San Antonio and they see like the mural on the South side that Los Otros did, it's straight up about the South side. There's the paleta cart, the lady that's making tortillas. And I don't know, it's just one image like that can completely let everybody know what San Antonio is about. Many artists cite their family and their experiences as motivation to the artwork they do. Another motivation is having a voice and space within this community. Um, I need people like us to see that someone like me, like us, does this, right? And at the same time, it's like, I need to force people like us in touch with those spaces, you know what I mean? Because at, at a public art level, you know, in the hood and stuff, you know, the barrio, the, the, the homies, you know what I mean? We've always pushed culture. We've always been the most creative. We've always been the most talented. We've always been the one to push ingenuity with what we got, right? Like we got that hands down. So now 
what I think we need to do and what I'm thinking it's doing, at least by having more people like me in that space is, is um, you know, slowly it deteriorates the infrastructure where people like us weren't let in, you know, whether it was uh, consciously or, um, sub, you know, subconsciously, like systematically, you know what I mean? Where it's just like, people may not be thinking about it, but we think artists are these certain people. So, you know, when I think about, you know, even if you don't like my art, or even if you don't, you know, if it means nothing to anybody, the reality is that I'm in that space and uh, I'm dipping into their wells of funds, their wells of resources, and I'm bringing it to my well of resources where people look like me, where my family looks like me, where I spend money in my community. So um, at the very least, I think that's what, I think that, is a non-abstract part of what's happening. It's like, I want to take from their table and put it on our table a little bit. So that's what I think's happening. I, at least like when I think about that, questions like that, it was like, what is the unabstract thing? Cause you could say like, oh, I'm out there changing lives with my art and you know, I don't know that. I've never met anybody yet who said, you know, they say you like it, but I've never met anybody who's like, oh, you know, hey, you changed my life and now I'm a senator or something, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know that once, it, once this art leaves my hands, my body, my mind, what happens to it happens. So, you know, I have my ideas of what I'd like to. And those are all abstract and kind of romantic. But when I can boil it down, I could say, hey, at least the city paid me this much to do this. And now I got that bag. And I'm over here doing this with it. These artists are deeply connected to their work, hone their spaces, and have a true sense of community. San Antonio street art reflects our community and allows others to understand it.